Hey everyone, welcome back, Deft here. So like I said, we're gonna go ahead and run through here and clear out some of these loose areas that we've got that haven't been cleared out there behind us now. So I went ahead and teleported over here to home level one, went through our cave passage, traveled through that into the shroud of this lecture well we had cleared a long time ago. Get up and around this mountain where this flame sanctum is at. And we found some catacombs right here that I was just gonna clear. So we're currently right above Pillars of Creation, above the gate to Pillars of Creation and Glimmer Rock Mine. So we took this route to get into Pillars of Creation. Yeah, so there's some catacombs on this road that we've never been down before. I was just going to walk through these, but while going into it, it got deeper and deeper and there's a lot of different things you need to activate and do. So first things first, right here on the right side, we obviously have a respawn point. There's going to be a couple of scavengers in here, a couple of warhounds, whatever you want to call them, just hounds, wolfhounds. And knock them out, no big deal. Your torches and your flame-born soul will light everything in here up so you can actually start seeing. There's going to be a bunch of basic loot. Come down here to this door, just open that, come inside of here. You'll see this door in front of us. It takes two points to unlock it. Now, I have found three points because there's a silver chest here. So what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to get my torch out just so you can see everything. We're just going to jump off the side here. And make sure you make it of these spike traps. They're probably going to activate. I didn't turn these off. They're just not activated yet. You'll come down here to the bottom floor underneath that bridge. Then you can go left or right here we're going to go both ways at some point so we'll come over here for right now you see this door needs a switch to open and activate i actually haven't been up to this part yet we're almost caught up to where i'm at i haven't looted anything as far as breaking stuff open besides chests but again everything in here has been level 13 thus far so it's it's no big deal but anyways there's a one button chest here so what we need to do is get up to this top ledge now i'm assuming there's another way to do this it's probably a switch on the other side of the building and for some reason right now, I can't seem to land a jump to save my life. All right, there we go. Jump to the top. There's a button up here. Let's press that. Let's see. There's another arrow switch right there. So that's probably the one that opens the door, actually, in case you don't have double jump. Yep, so that one opens that. So that's two switches right here back to back. Let's get a little torch back out. A little some lightning bolts that are probably going to activate at some point. Oh, as soon as we walk by them. It's always fun. Basic loot in here. A scavenger. Another hound. And we'll take them out. Let's keep looking around. Again, I'm not going to loot all this stuff. I just, I really don't have a need for it as far as I know. Maybe when I get back to base building, I will. But right now, yeah, we don't, we just don't need anything. I right, saw so this base loot right here seems to be trapped. Or some of it is, so be careful. I haven't found any secret doors in here, so you could be missing that. How deep is this place going to go? I thought this was going to be like a quick like walkthrough. I didn't know it was going to take a hot minute. Right, so this guy's coming for us. I keep getting lag spikes. I don't know what's up with that. Surely we're not saving. Maybe we're like on a, a node for the map. So if you've never done like Unreal Engine design, a lot of times the maps, they are seamless, but there is a seam, if that makes sense at all. Like you can walk through it without a load screen, but there's still a seam. And if you stand on that seam, you'll that's where you get a lot of lag. Okay, so this is the door that opened for us, and then we just have a bunch of these small loot piles, another bed, a place to repair our equipment. But I'm pretty sure this side's cleared. Like I said, I'm pretty sure if you shot that with your arrow, the door opens, you walk through, you go up, and then you press the other button on top. If you have double jump, you do like I do, and you just cheat it. Oh, and now the spike traps are active, so things are dying behind us. I have no idea where those guys came from because I cleared this side of the map. Honestly, I have no idea where those guys came from. I killed everything over here already. So we'll come to this side, still underneath that bridge area, just opposite the door we went through last time. Get my torch back out so you can see better. So you can, again, jump to this top gap if you want to. There was a cleaver guy up here, one of those green guys, so watch out for him. Uh, down here at the bottom, we do have a few things to cover. There's a door right here. Nothing back here on this side. I did see a switch. Yeah, there's a switch behind all this stuff right here. Let's go and break this apart. It requires a bow, so we're going to shoot that. No idea what that just did. But we do have a door here. Let's go ahead and open that. Oh, okay, so that one opened this door here because this, this gate was closed. And that brings us to the silver chest, an archer helmet, because we're in level 13 zone, so that thing is worthless to us. From there, you can hit these stairs. This is where I told you the cleaver was at originally. Should be another switch up here for us to hit to unlock the other door. If I remember correctly, yep, that's right here, so just press that. We can maybe loot this. No, we can't. All right, then we're going to head back out. Should not be anything left for us to do except avoiding the traps and getting to the main door.
now we're back at the door. Let's go ahead and go through here, see what we can find. Looks like we cleared the entire area. So as always, run around, check all these coffins, make sure that there's no loot in them. But that was like a Fireball 2 spell. So that could be good. You can also occasionally find loot on these top shelves, on the second shelves. A little bit harder to get to. And then we have the main coffin here. Let's go ahead and open that. Maybe we'll get something good. We got the wizard chest. It's a level 13 piece of gear, so I wouldn't call that good. Even at the time we would have originally first come here, that still would not have been good. But hey, maybe it saves some mats when we get ready to build all of our armor sets. But as far as I can tell, this zone is cleared. We still have enemies popping up. I don't know where they're coming from unless they're respawning. I know they changed the respawn rate. So I think like every 20 or 30 minutes stuff respawns. Now we're back on the outside of the catacomb. So we're going to keep trying to walk this way. I feel like we're going to hit a mountain or something in a second. Where are these guys coming from? Is it because we hit the switches or is it an actual respawn time? It annoys me if they're respawning that quickly. So running down here to this side, go ahead and show where we're at. So there's the catacombs we came out, made it right. It's taking us underneath this mountain, which I don't think we've actually ever been across this top of this mountain landmass here. Again, this is all the new stuff that we just unlocked in the last video when we went to the spire. Leads on straight over to the mining rift. I'm not sure the best way to go to get here. I guess when we come through, just make a left and hug everything until you come around. But it's bringing us underneath that into the shroud. And we could probably just walk out the top once if we go to the bottom and walk around. So if I find anything down here, I'll let you guys know. Okay, so we do have a cave passage. Typically, these just lead us back up. We could take this and go ahead and clear this while it's already looking semi-clear. And that way we can clear this flame shrine and check this flame sanctum because I can't remember if I touched this one yet or not. Let's go ahead and go through here. Again, this is just down in the depths of the shroud. Yeah, so we made it to the flame shrine. You have to double jump across here and it's still underground. Like, we still haven't come out of the cave system yet. So let's go ahead and go over here and grab the spark. So we're at the flame shrine. Show sure where we're at on the map. There's the cave entrance we found. So pretty much from the catacombs, go around. You'll find a cave passage if you hook all the walls while you're underground and come out here. There's really no good way to describe that. Just head up as much as you can. These cave systems down here, I mean, it's a complete maze. I really wish I could make a guide for it, but it would take, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes probably to get a good one out on where everything's at. I don't know if I've actually been down here on this part. That's one thing I don't like. We're clearing the top of this and the bottom at the same time. I was just like a sub map or something. So now, like, I need to go back above ground at some point, come through this canyon, and just clear all this to make sure we're not missing anything. So from here, this is a dead end as far as I can tell, except that we can go down there, and we can survive in that as far as I understand it, because that's, I think I came out of that cave entrance earlier. Probably do is just glide off of here, kind of do like a quick run through. Oh, well, I don't have a choice now, because as usual, I get kicked. <laughs> I'm always being hit by something from behind and knocked to the bottom. So yeah, I'm going to run through here see if I can't find something. If I do find something, I'll do my best to make a way to walk out and show you where it's at. Okay, so we're over here at this elixir well now. You can kind of see and track the path that we went through. So catacombs, found the cave passage. Cave passage led us to the flame shrine right here. Went back down into the shroud. Stayed underground. Again, I have not been on top of this, so I'm not sure what's above us. It looks like not much. Circled around. That looks like it connects back over here to this one. There's also some buildings and stuff in here. So I figure we'll check all that once we get to the obelisk. But right now we need to go ahead and clear this elixir well. Then we'll have to take a look around underground here for this. And then I'll have to go upstairs and walk around on top just to clear this area to make sure we get everything. First, we need to clear the elixir well, like I said. Come back out here, look for any lore that's around it. So let's just go ahead and drop down into here and clear this place out. Right, so we're on the first floor. Let's go ahead and see. Let's see a lot of climbing to do here. I see the red glow of the tree, some flying beetles, some of these big shroud sacks. Like that's one thing I hate about the wands. They're gonna try to shoot at anything that they can target, but even even if they can't reach it. All the mobs in here are currently level 16. We're gonna try to get. Sorry, I keep getting interrupted. <laughs> We're gonna try to go straight to that tree if we can, like we always do. So we can jump down here. Kill off a bunch of these ads. Just in case we need to kite or something, you don't want them shooting you in the back the whole time. You see, it looks like there's just going to be a bunch of enemies down here, possibly. Maybe some of the armored guys. Yeah, let's go and get our hammer out. Works great against armor and shields. We just like two tap that one guy. Didn't we just land up over this archer? Oh, 
sword, take out the beetle. Another shield guy. Oops, I'm lagging a little bit. Ooh, don't jump in the red. Get back on our hammer. First one's down. Get the second one. And then we'll swap to our wand to take out the flying beetle, and we're good to go. No big deal, let's swap to our axe, get rid of the shroud root. Another skill point added, new location on the map, I'll go ahead and show you where we're at one more time. Well, looks well here, but the shroud root's right here where I'm standing, once you go down into it. And let's check this legendary chest. Ooh, it's a legendary deep root axe. 51 damage. Could possibly be better than a hammer, but we'll see. I might upgrade it. It does have a lot of cutting damage on it, and it increases critical hit damage by 20% twice, so that's 40% damage increase. So it's a really nice weapon. Except that it's level 16. We're we're ready for you know max level weapons. So I'm gonna run around here, look, see what else I can find. Hopefully I don't get pushed off into some shroud. We do have another silver chest that we ran by when we first came in. Again, nothing down here is really worth looting too much right now at our current level. Another silver chest in the back of this elixir well. Okay, and we made it to the next flame shrine. There's a cave passage here. We can drop down here to get to the flame shrine from above uh, if I don't miss the whole ledge. <laughs> Looks like there's a bunch of Vukas inside here, so there's another Vuka cave here. And I don't know if we need to visit all these or not. Like, I don't think they're supposed to be duplicating like they are. But we definitely don't have any use for sparks unless we start building a different base. And we made it to the next flame sanctum that was nearby. First time getting here. Show you where that's at really quick. Right above Pillars of Creation. Typical sanctum. It's just got the respawn point and more sparks in it. Now I'm pretty sure we found this one. I'll mark it just in case and try to walk past it. But like I said, we ran underneath all of this. I didn't find anything noteworthy there. I might have missed something so if somebody knows something let me know. Otherwise we'll kind of head towards mining rift and see what pops up and then I'll just kind of zoom across all this to see if there's anything else here to look at. Alright guys there is a small city right here. So the mining rift's right above me. There's a small city here but there's nothing in it that I could find. No lore. There was a chest down here that's legendary but it's there's nothing in it but a weapon. It was just a common. Turning on the same journey we're still right below the mining rift and Roostook is over here. It looks like there's another tomb here. It's hard to miss, it's another big black building. Let's go ahead and go inside these catacombs, see what we can find. It says location markers added. I don't see anything yet, so... Let's take a look in here, see what we can find. So we walk to the first gate. <laughs> the floor is wide open below it, so now we drop down. So we have to fight our way back up and out. So far, there seems to be a lot of bronze and tin down here. And take a look at this door on the right side. He just leads us back upstairs. Let's go ahead and lockpick this door. And it takes us right back to where he fell down at. See, this left side brings us out into a big cave. Bunch of enemies in here. Let me go ahead and clear these out. There is a silver chest in here on top of a ledge. Just a masterful mace, level 18. Not really worth the time. And then the cave goes farther back, it looks like. Leads us into a different part of the catacombs. We have a switch here. Let's go ahead and hit that. 
Get more enemies ahead. Of small basic loot piles and potions laying around everywhere and potion and spells. Opposite side over here we have another switch. Looks like it opened the locked door leading to a legendary chest. Another transcendental screen. Again, not something that we need. So we'll take it back with us anyways. And there, let's push our way back. See if we can't find the front door again. Looks like we're back in an area we've been to before. Okay, so this is where we came out of the depths. We need to go back down and look at those other doors one more time. Okay, so that one door that I didn't go through, that yeah, it leads us straight to the legendary chest, so this place is clear now. If anybody's interested in that, again, these catacombs are right here below the mining rift. So I think we're pretty clear on this side. So we did the top and the bottom right here, I didn't find anything else. And I think I've been to every point here. So now the only thing I have left as far as loose ends goes that I can think of off the top of my head is we need to clear this elixir well right here. And that's going to be lo below Lupa's lair. So let's go ahead and teleport here. Well, we'll teleport home first, then we'll come back and do this one. All right, so we're at the top of the elixir well. Let's go ahead and jump in here and go ahead and clear this one out. So we have an hourglass below us. Let's see if we can find the shroud tree. I guess we should just run through here like we normally do because there's no telling what's going to be at the end of it. There's the shroud root in front of us and it looks like a felt monstrosity so we need to clear out these other ads. Is this one bigger than the last one? This is a higher level area I think so he... Okay, he looks gigantic. <laughs> Alright, let's get behind him and start taking him out. grab his loot see nothing special and then we cut the tree down another skill point new location updated and then we'll take a quick look around see if there's any legendary chest or anything worth looting there's a heavily guarded tin mine right here and a silver chest let's grab that I don't see anything else worth looting here. I think we're going to call it there. I'm sure that my like two hours of recording time. Most of that's just been running around trying to explore everything. But I think we've caught up for the most part. We still have that one flame sanctum here. I guess we could grab that really fast and explore that tiny city here. Just to kind of push that out of the way. It looks like that flame sanctum is going to be below us. Just go ahead and glide off the side of this place. We're currently right above it somehow. Here we are, it's down here in a large cavern. 
Yeah, I don't see any lore in here, just basic bases and in the spark. Definitely in an area we have not been to yet. And we need to get out of here somehow. I guess we could head towards the obelisk for research. That shouldn't take but a second to just walk by it. And it looks like this road's going to lead us right to it. So this road took us back to Jasper Isles, it said, but I don't remember this large structure up here. Of course, we do have a mushroom chasing us. The dude came all the way in the building with us. Let me see. So we should be, yeah, I was going to say, we should be looking at that shroud here somewhere. It's pretty high. Not sure there's a purpose to where we're currently at. There's a chest right here. We'll grab that. It's the brisk bow. I'll show you where we're currently at. The map is right here on this little peninsula above a shroud route and Jasper Isles. Probably gonna call it here and I'll just teleport out. Once I finish exploring this place, make sure there's nothing else in here. I don't see anything else here, so we'll keep going in the same direction. We climb to the bottom. It looks like it's just a giant bridge or watchtower. There were just a couple of random chests inside of it. And right below that, we do have a respawn point. There are two or three different roads and tons of crossroads down here, so it's easy to get lost. And it looks like we're right here at the obelisk. Let's go ahead and grab that. New location charter with marker added. Ancient obelisk. Go ahead and read it. And we just got another achievement, Nomad Highlands Secret Keeper. Read all obelisk in the Nomad Highlands. And that added five more markers. We do have some tents right here. Let's see what's inside of these. See a basic chest. Some skulls and some lore. Infusion above all. New lore page, Ancients and the Flame Obelisk Research. And then let's check our map, see what we have updated. Okay, so I think that's new. Uh, this marker right here is definitely new, so maybe these are more shroud roots. Yeah, it looks like I added a bunch of shroud roots to our map because a lot of these question marks that exist before. Yeah, shroud root, shroud root, another shroud root. <laughs> All right, so now we need to go back to a lot of the places we just visited to clear more shroud roots, it looks like. I don't know if I'm going to cover all these shroud roots. Like, maybe if there's something, some more there, or they're difficult to find or get to, I might cover it. Otherwise, well, I'll probably just do it on myself. You should know how to find shroud roots by now and kill them. So hopefully on the next one that I do, the next recording we do, we'll come be heading into the, this area to do the Sun Temple stories and clearing all these other new areas. That I've been to yet. Uh, sorry guys that this one wasn't very productive, but hey, we need to clear everything, get everything done, or else we're missing out on too much. So as always, if you enjoyed this content, be sure to like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.